Hey guys, this is CarGuy304, and today I'm talking about the all-new Maserati Ghibli. Uh, sorry about up, not uploading in a while. I've been focusing on photography, and you can follow me on Flickr. The link is in the description of this video. So, many of you may know that Maserati is my favorite brand, and I recently had the awesome opportunity to drive a Gran Turismo MC, pictured here, thanks to a very kind owner. It was definitely a life-changing experience and something that I'll never forget. Um, besides the car being wrapped in Italian leather, so soft, and carbon fiber that just looks awesome, their performance was just incredible. The handling was very tight and precise, and it was surprisingly very easy to drive, considering I drive an automatic every day. Uh, the noise that came from the engine was intoxicating, and it really just seemed as if the car would just want to go so much faster than I was going. I, I was on small little alleys and crowded streets, so I couldn't go too fast, but it was still really fun. And um, the looks that I got driving a roaring Maserati down a street filled with college kids, that was pretty funny too. Um, enough of my experience now, and on to Maserati's newest addition to its lineup, the Maserati Ghibli. As some of you may know, the Ghibli was a V8 powered coupe back in the 70s. Uh, pictured here is one that I have spotted in Hershey. The new Ghibli is just absolutely huge for Maserati because they're doing something that no other exotic car brand has ever done before. This car is aimed at customers in a lower price range, meaning that a lot more people will be able to afford this car without sacrificing any Maserati luxuriousness and quality, of course, though. That's what Maserati is known for. With the help of this car, Maserati hopes to boost its annual sales to 50,000 cars a year by 2050. I mean, that's not something an exotic car brand usually does. They're, Maserati is trying to become more mainstream as a brand. So Maserati says that the Ghibli is supposed to be a fun and luxurious everyday car. The Ghibli's lines resemble the new Quattroporte, and the quad exhaust is a trait that is iconic to Maserati and that also appears on the new Ghibli. The Ghibli is a mid-size four-door sedan, while the Quattroporte is a larger four-door sedan that Maserati calls its Grand Tour. Most of you are probably thinking that the Ghibli is smaller, which means slower, but that is not the case at all. After all, this car is a Maserati, which means a great sounding engine that is fairly quick, and that is exactly what they have done with this car. There are three engine options for the new Ghibli. The first being a 3 liter twin turbo V6, pumping out 345 horsepower and 369 pound foot of torque. The second is also a 3 liter, liter twin turbo V6, but this one produces an impressive 410 horsepower and 406 pounds foot of torque. This engine is also is used in the S and the SQ4 models for the Ghibli. The SQ4 model is an all-wheel drive model, which is something that they just did with the all-new Quattroporte, so that is an option for the new Ghibli as well. The base Ghibli with the base 3 liter um, runs a 0 to 60 time of 5.6 seconds, and the Ghibli S with the 410 horsepower does it in just 4.8 seconds so it's still pretty quick and it's luxurious so it gets there, you there pretty quick for a luxury car the third engine is a 3 liter turbo diesel with 275 horsepower but that is only available in Europe for now at least and you might be saying hold up hold up diesel engine in a luxurious car a Maserati well yeah they're doing it they're trying to become mainstream and this is the first diesel engine that Maserati has ever produced so we'll see how that works out and all of these engines are produced by Ferrari which makes this car even more attractive to customers all of these engines are also paired with Maserati's 8-speed ZF automatic transmission and aluminum paddle shifters are a very common option for this car because of that 8-speed that's very fun to drive I'm sure Overall, the Ghibli's wheelbase is 6.8 inches shorter than the new Quattroporte, and it is almost a foot shorter in overall length than the Quattroporte. This makes the Ghibli a lot sportier and tighter through the corners. Like, pa like past Maseratis, the Ghibli also has the Skyhook suspension that is adjustable. And moving into the interior now, the Ghibli is very simple and refined. Instead of a dashboard cluttered with buttons, They've replaced it with an 8.4 inch touchscreen sat nav system that is very easy to use. And centered above that touchscreen is an iconic analog clock with the Maserati Trident inside of the clock. So that's pretty nice looking. You can see a picture of it here. 
and the leather is the same old soft beautiful Italian leather and there's also an option for natural leather I don't know why you'd want something even nicer than what's already in there but they have that and although the Ghibli is not as large as the Quattroporte the rear seat seems to be more than adequate for two adults so this car can comfortably hold four adults another new thing for Maserati is the addition of a start stop engine and you can also get it on your key so that you can remotely start it so that's something new with the Ghibli as well so the all new Maserati Ghibli is aimed at competing with the Audi A6 and A7 the BMW 5 Series and 6 Series Grand Coupe and the Mercedes E-Class and CLS Class but in my opinion the Ghibli blows all of them away hands down the Ghibli is a better buy after all you get to say that you own a Maserati you know how cool is that then there's the price the Ghibli starts at 65,000 US dollars and the Ghibli SQ4 with the 410 horsepower and all-wheel drive is predicted to be just over $75,000 why would you not buy this car it's incredible Maserati looks to have built a real winner and a market changer so that's all for now so please subscribe to my channel and check out check out my Flickr account so have a good one. Bye.